I got a new mic. It's the Rode Wireless Me, a new offering from the company, but I've been using Rode mics for many years at this point. I'm a big fan of their sound signature. They make high quality products. Always been very happy with the Rode products in the past. I got this one in particular to replace the lav mic that I've been using with my DJI Action 2 camera. I'm certainly going to miss some aspects of a wired mic. Yeah, you don't have to charge it. It's always on, no interference. But hopefully this new wireless system and all of the benefits it brings will more than compensate for that. Now the wireless me isn't the most premium wireless microphone that Rode sells. They have the much older uh, wireless go to and that's marketed as the professional choice. It's more expensive $300 you get a second receiver So if you want to do interviews, you can clip one onto each person The wireless signal the range is longer and they have backup recording on the actual device in case there is interference But honestly if you're looking for the best most premium wireless mic I think that title goes to the DJI offering. It's newer. The design is more sleek usable the display on the actual receiver is nicer in my opinion oh yeah and the charging case super clutch with dgi the road mics have no such thing it is more expensive but you can buy a one transmitter version for a little bit more reasonable of a price so i guess the question here is then why did i buy the wireless me mic from road this Microphone doesn't even have a display on the receiver. So there's two small reasons why I chose this and one main overarching dominant reason why I was super excited to switch to this microphone system. So the first small reason is that it's wireless. I did want to try out a wireless mic and see the creative benefits it might offer me, but I wasn't explicitly looking for a wireless mic. It's just a nice side benefit. The next thing is the price. The wireless me is affordable, 150 bucks. But the main reason why I chose the wireless me microphone is because of the auto gain assist. And this is a feature that neither the more premium wireless go to has or the DJI mic. And to break that down a little bit, there is an app with the wireless me. You open it up, you connect the microphone to it, and it's just a switch. You can toggle on, auto gain assist and that means you do not have to adjust manually any gain settings with every other mic adjusting the sensitivity which is the gain is always such a pain if you fail to properly adjust the gain the audio could peak it could be way too quiet both of which things completely destroy the end audio quality so let's go ahead and put this feature to the test and see how good and effective it actually is now this whole video up until this point has been filmed on the Rode Wireless Me microphone with the gain assist on, but I've been inside a controlled environment, so the audio should have been really good. This is the obligatory super far away wireless mic test. I'm over here by the way, behind this series of plant life. This is pretty far, maybe like, I don't know, 100 feet. Should be within the capabilities of the Rode Mi microphone. Now I'm migrating behind this bunching of trees and bushes. So even though we lost the line of sight, hopefully you guys can still hear me. And now we're back in line of sight. I'm gonna to walk towards the camera. Now I did try and do this test with my Android phone. So using this mic with an Android phone and I couldn't get it to connect. Not sure why I downloaded the app. I did everything you're supposed to do, but it was not working with my Android phone. The first part of this video was done on my iPad, so it worked with my iPad just fine. And right now it's with my DJI Action 2, and I know this works. A big question I had with wireless microphone systems is how do you turn on the mics, connect them, and once connected, does it stay connected to the camera even if you turn the camera off? So right now everything is off and that light indicates that the camera is charging the unit. Not sure how I feel about that, but okay, if we go ahead and put the camera on, camera is on and the microphone stays off. To activate the mic, you hold down the bottom button until that second light turns on. Then you wanna grab the transmitter, turn it on, do the same process, you see the lights, 
And once it turns solid on both ends, it is connected. Very fast process. So if I go ahead and hit the record button on the camera, and I talk into this microphone, you guys should be hearing me on this microphone. So what happens now if you shut off the camera, but you want to leave the microphone system connected so that way next time you hit the record button, it's all good to go. So let's go ahead and power off the camera. Okay, camera off. You're going to see that if you don't do anything to the microphones, aka manually shut them off, they stay in the connected mode. So if you go ahead, turn the camera back on, and we hit the record button, the microphone system is still connected and being used. So to me, this is fantastic. You don't have to worry about reconnecting the mic every time you shut off your camera. All right, now we're gonna put the gain assist, the automatic gain assist to the ultimate test here. It's been on this whole time. Honestly, if you buy this camera, I don't know why you wouldn't have the gain assist on all the time. It's kind of the whole reason why you buy this. So I have that on right now and the mic is placed on the chin strap of my camera just below the chin guard meaning that it's going to be exposed to wind when I'm riding. I do have the wind protector on. I recommend keeping that on at all times just like the gain assist. So this is how it sounds when I'm not moving and now I am actively in motion going about 15 miles per hour. So there should be a combination of wind noise, mechanical noise. How does it sound? Ideally, the levels between back then and now should be kind of okay without me having to do anything. Because usually with my other uh, basic lav mic, in post when I'm editing, I always have to boost uh, quieter segments, kind of like right now, and then lower the gain when I'm in motion. Okay, this is overgrown. Now in a second, I'm going to move the location of the mic to inside of my helmet. That should reduce the wind noise, as well as bring the mic physically closer to my mouth. And we're gonna see how that is. Now, I did just realize that my camera, the gain was set to plus two, which is not a lot, but I did just go in and change it to zero, the lowest possible gain sensitivity in my camera. So how does it sound now? The microphone is still on auto gain, and there is a setting for like the output volume to the camera. And that has always been set to low. I think most people will want to keep that on low. So the mic, auto gain assist, the low output, and now my camera is on plus zero decibels. Does it sound any different? The mic is in my helmet right now, so it should be protected from the wind. Let's pick up some speed here. I mean, it should be pretty similar to before, but it's a little bit quieter. And technically, this is the quietest that the mic will get, unless you put it in manual settings and you put the decibel reading way down low. Now, let me go ahead and switch the location of the mic to the chin strap just outside my helmet, exposed to more wind. All right, Mike is in that new location, exposed to a lot more wind. You guys be the judge. That's going to conclude this video. I'll leave a link to this product below. It will be an affiliate link to Amazon. If you use my link, I could earn a commission. It helps to support the work that I do here. Another great way to support the channel is just leaving a like on the video, subscribing. It helps to grow the channel, spread the content. I greatly appreciate all of the support. Definitely leave a comment below letting us know your thoughts, views, and opinions on this mic. Right now we're not moving, a bit quieter. We're about to gain quite a bit of speed going down this hill. The noise level is gonna pick up. Hopefully the auto gain assist is keeping the levels from peaking. And by the way, 
throughout this whole video and post, I've not been adjusting the audio. It's all straight out of camera. The only manual change I did was in the camera. For the first bit of the riding footage, my camera was set to plus two decibel, very minor. But as mentioned, I switched it to zero, so neutral, hopefully isolate the performance of the mic in these various conditions. And the very beginning of the video, when I was using the mic with my iPad, there was no separate gain for the iPad. So hopefully this video gave you guys a good idea of the performance of this camera. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.